So Fucked, and I'm here with Bobby from Warbeats. So How's up? it going? Pretty good. How you doing? Good. So I didn't ask you a lot of questions earlier because I wanted to save them. <laughs> How is it touring with Phil and everybody? Uh, it's been great, man. It's, uh, you know, being on Housecore Records, uh, you know, we got Kate and Phil out. And uh, it's, it's, like, uh, it's like a family affair, you know. You'll hear the, the other guys say it. You know, it's, uh, it's cool, man. It's like a real family vibe. Um, yeah. You know, we're getting to... They're giving us a lot of exposure and, you know, spreading the, the message of the, of the beast out there, you know, to everybody. So it's, it's been amazing. Like you said, he's the only one that calls you Robert. So is he, like, kind of like a goofball, would you say? Is Phil a goofball? Who's I don't know. That's, that's probably, a, that's probably a Phil question. Who's the goofiest one on tour? Uh, probably my drummer, Joey. Probably probably me and Joey together are the, are the goofiest. Trouble. Yeah. Because we're, we're, the, we're the beaners of the band. I don't know if I... Is that politically correct? <laughs> we bring the color to the band, and, uh, you know, we're always joking and shit. So. Oh, Brown power. I can't, say, I can't cuss on here either, can I? Or, yeah, you can. Oh, okay. Wow. It's Fuck that, it. It's that I'm type of interview. Okay. Cool. Brown power. So, are all of you guys from Texas? Um, well, we just got a new addition to the group, Dre Karst. He's actually from originally from New Orleans. Uh, but, yeah, we all live in Texas, and pretty much, yeah. So, your new member is not living in Texas right now? No, everybody lives in Texas, but uh, Dre was actually from New Orleans, you know. Is it any, Is it different uh, for him to adjust to your as a band? Like, is it hard? Is it easy for him to adjust to your band, like, on tour and everything? Is, is you guys <laughs> meshing well? Well, you know, like, like any new guy that comes in, you know, it's there's always a... You know, we've we've had a lot more years doing this than he has. You know, so it's kind of where it's routine for us. It's sort of something for him to get used to. But he's doing good, though. You know, you got to take a little ball busting every once in a while. Yeah. You got to dish it out and take it. It's cool. You know, it's all it's cool. But uh, the most important thing is uh, his thrash metal and love for metal background. That's pretty much what makes him work you know so that's as long as that's good you know you can deal with everything else so. yeah so who were your like main inspirations for becoming part of the metal scene of uh, what who inspired you to become like part of the metal scene part of the metal scene wow uh for me it starts really early on you know uh i met gene simmons when i was five years old and uh pretty much just started rocking from there and it never stopped so I don't know. I guess I really don't pay much attention to the scene. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like metal people is a it's a very kindred thing. You know, if you're a Damage Plan or Pantera or Down fan or Crowbar, so any type of metal that you really love, that's like it's like an instant bonding. You know, mm-hmm. especially for Kiss fans like Kiss Army, it's like oh dude, you can just meet somebody and you're instantly gratified. You know, yeah. so uh, what inspired me? You know. To be part of metal, it's probably Kiss. You know, it's my biggest influence. So your new CD is coming out in March. Have you set an actual date? Uh, man, we're just we're just shooting for March. There's no tentative release date, but uh, it's called Destroy. Of course, it'll be released on Housecore Records. Uh, some ass kicking shit, man. Uh, you know, f- for fans of Warbees, this is going to be like the sort of our one up that we're doing. Of course, we have a uh, War of the Gargantuas that's is available right now uh but yeah go- it's number one on mp3 and number four on cd Did oh, you know on that? amazon yeah yeah that's cool how excited were you when you heard that well that's another we so we don't really know what that means you know we just yeah. we just know we come up here and try to kill and you know bleed our souls on stage every night so you know it's cool you know we'll We'll get there. Yeah. We'll figure it, you know, figure all that shit out down the line. Yeah. So your new album, it's, we were kind of talking about it. Is it half you guys and then half Phil? Well, that's uh, what I was talking about. The War of the Gargantuas. It is available now. It's uh, two songs from Phil Mm -hmm. and the Illegals, which is Phillip's uh, new solo project. And uh, two songs from Warbeast that we actually recorded like two years ago and, and have been playing them live for just about two years, you know, so... Like Phil says on the record, you know, now the fans can have a kick-ass recording. Uh, that's that's already out. You can as soon as we get done with this interview, you can go get one right now. But uh, the 
our new full length is called Destroy. It comes out in March or April, hopefully mm-hmm. March. But okay, so. so what made you want to do a kind of a double feature? That's all Phil's idea, you know, it's a brainchild thing. Uh, kind of a new vibe. He's just really trying to help us out and push us out there. And, uh, you know, be, uh, as a record label owner, you know, I mean, that's probably yeah. the most thing you can do for your bands, you know. I mean, there's not – I mean, I, I've never heard of a record label going, hey, man, I want to put, you know, my name with your name on the same record. You know, a lot of times they'll, just, they'll sign you and kind of brush you off. And mm-hmm. Phil's real involved with us, you know, he – he helps produce albums. He helps, you know, he helps with everything and helps sort of mold us and shape us in a way, you know. So that's uh, that's Phil's brainchild for sure, you know. Yeah. Which, so it sounds like he's like definitely taking you guys like under his wing and like he's really trying to promote you guys. How, how you guys all bonded with him like pretty well, or is it just kind of like as a band you just kind of he's helping you out? No, I feel a great dude. He's more like a like a brother and friend, and you know it's always a blast getting yeah. a, getting to hang out with them and getting a tour and shit. So, no, it's real. You know, like I said, family. It's about, probably the most you know best word you can use to describe it's family. You know. Yeah. So, what is in the in the future for Warbeats? Uh, like I said, man, we got the new album coming out in March. Uh, we've got uh, Metal Masters coming up in May in Chicago if you don't know what Metal Masters is look it up Uh, you know just hopefully getting some some, uh, more tour offers and uh, just keep rolling you know just try to you know improve our fan base and uh, just just keep growing you know to where this will be our our life you know and we won't have to work day jobs and stuff like that you know yeah alright well I think that's gonna wrap it up alright bye